Hey friends! Today we're going to read a book about being brave because sometimes we all need a little help to be brave. This is called Dad and Dinosaur. It's by Jennifer Koldenko and Dan Santet. It's an award-winning book too. Dad and the Dinosaur. Nicholas was afraid of the dark outside his door, the bushes where the giant bugs lived, and the undersides of manhole covers. His dad was not afraid of anything. Nicholas tried to be brave like his dad, but he needed help, big help. He needed a dinosaur. Dinosaurs like the dark. Bugs are nothing to them, and they eat manhole covers for lunch and everything under them for dinner. When little Nick had his dinosaur in his pocket, he was just as brave as Big Nick. You should have seen your son at the climbing wall today, his mom told his dad. No fear at all. He takes after your side of the family. Of course, there were times when Nicholas had no pockets. Like during soccer, he would hide his dinosaur in his sock. And when he swam, he tied the dinosaur to the cord of his swim trunks. And at night, he hid his dinosaur under his pillow. Then one day at soccer, Nicholas played against the goalie they called Gorilla. But no worries, Nicholas had his dinosaur and his dinosaur was fearless. He kicked the ball so hard it shot past Gorilla's oven sized mitt, mitt hand straight into the net. Everybody cheered. His mom had the whole thing on video. You're incredible, buddy, but N Big Nick told him. Nicholas's face lit up like a glow stick. He was so proud. But when it was time to, to leave, the dinosaur was gone. Nicholas searched from one end of the field to the other until it grew dark. What are you doing, Nick? Nothing, Nicholas said, and they went home. On the way home, the night was as black as octopus ink. Giant bugs were everywhere, and their little car was nearly sucked under the street. Nicholas ate no dinner that night. He went to sleep early with the light on and there was nothing under his pillow. He dreamed about bugs as big as buildings and the world under the manhole cover. <coughs> Excuse me. When his father got home late that night, he came into little Nick's room. You have a bad dream, buddy? He asked. Nicholas didn't answer. It's okay to be afraid. All guys are afraid now and then. Who said I was afraid? Nicholas shot back. Nobody, Dad said, but something's the matter. After a long time, Nicholas whispered, I lost my dinosaur. He's the brave one, not me. Well, let's go find him, said Dad. His mother heard them putting on their jackets. Where are you two going at this hour? It's guy stuff, his father answered, and they walked out the door. Dad drove Nicholas across town to the dark field. Together they searched the spongy grass. Sure enough, 
There was Nicholas's dinosaur, big as ever. The car headlights are shining on it. When they got home, they gave the dinosaur a bath and they put him under the pillow. Dad, Nicholas said, don't tell mom, okay? Of course not, Dad said. The next day, Dickle Nicholas put his dinosaur in his pocket, but he wasn't the only one who knew he was there now. Dad shared his secret. Dad's get it. 